Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Space Engineers. Okay, so the last time we left off, we uh, had gotten a bunch of uh, uranium in our ship and we're harvesting. How'd you get in here? All right, well, this leads me to what I want to do today. Um, I want to go ahead and fix the way we harvest our uh, ores on our deck. So, um, it's like get past all the loud machinery. Um, I wasn't sure how to do this. I really wasn't. And just had a, uh, a viewer say, hey, Havoc, how come you're not using the spherical generator? And I wasn't quite sure how to use it, so I didn't know how to reply to that. Um, okay, so spherical gravity generator works. Spherical gravity generator works exactly how it sounds. It works in a ball, and you can put one down and everything orbits around it so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, turn my jetpack on and get out of there I'm going to reduce the size of this um, because it, like I said I wasn't sure how I was gonna use it if I did and so now that I know I'm going to use it I know how I'm gonna use it so I'll probably reduce it to just these so we take this one out Take this one out. This one. Whoa, too far. So we're gonna take those out. We're gonna leave. Let's see, did I do that right? No, I still picked an even number. I want an odd number, that's what I'm looking for. So we'll bring the welder back over to fix these. So the idea is we're gonna do that. Um we're gonna take this one out, yeah. I think that'll give us our odd number, right? Okay, the reason I'm looking for an odd number is because what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna take the center one out and we're gonna put a piston on it. Hopefully there's room down here, and there is. This is a decent one for a piston. So we're gonna put a piston down here and put the spherical generator on top. Then we get ready to, uh, two, 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 two. Yeah, okay, it's in the middle. So when we get ready to uh, go and harvest, we're gonna raise that spherical generator up and we're gonna be able to put it close to wherever we're harvesting. Hopefully not bang it around too much. And then it'll collect all the ore at it while it's up there. And then we turn off the spherical gravity generator and then our main generator will pull everything down to the deck straight down. So there won't be anything getting lost anymore. So, all right, enough talking, let's get building. So first things first, we need do 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 do. Um, I want a piston. Piston, 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 piston. I know there's a couple of modded pistons out there, so what I'm gonna probably do is um, off camera go and find a modded piston and test them out, see how stable they are. Uh, for any of you who play Space Engineers, you know that the pistons are wonky at best. They are very crazy in what they do. Rotor, oh, it's right next to the rotor. Okay, so we're gonna take this guy and flip it. That was right side up, wasn't it? Yep, that was right side up. Okay, so we're gonna put him in there. And I think on all honesty, I'm okay with it being a block higher. Do I want it like that or do I want it down in there? I want it up there. So I want it like that. So we're gonna do that, just like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the uh, <clears throat> the generator on top. And it's right here, spherical generator. I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna turn the control panel towards like that. And so there we go. Um, that's the idea. So when we get out to where we're going, that's not sticking up too high, is it? No, not too much. Uh, that will extend this up and everything will attract to it up there. We'll, we will have this thing set to its maximum potential because we're gonna be turning it on and off. So there's no reason to worry about draining of power. Um, and I wanna see, we could just leave this for now. Yeah, so let's go get uh, Scorpion, get him over here and put him to work. Okay. So we're gonna go eight, nine. And there we go. 
Oh, inertia dampeners. Inertia dampeners. Good thing that's not sticking up too high, huh? Alright, make sure all these are repaired, the ones I, I broke. Okay, so <laughs> that was that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here, we're gonna dock Scorpion, and we're gonna pick up the Reaper. And uh, we're gonna go and see how this works out, because we're right next to some more minerals. So we're gonna collect that silver that's right above us, and then we'll go from there. So let's turn our uh, inertia damners off, docking clamp back on. Come on now. You see how sketchy this gets when you turn your inertial dampeners off. All right, so let's come on, come on, come on. All right, so we turn our dampeners back on for a second so it can stabilize. Then we'll turn them back off again. Park. Remember the last episode? I screwed up my uh, bindings on this. Uh, all right, we're just gonna leave him on now. His inertia dampeners are off, so uh, let's get out, climb in the reaper. Actually, I guess that worked. It turned the reaper's thrusters on for us. Oh, wait, we forgot a step. We need to go configure that. So I think we can just do that right here. Right? Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna go control panel. Piston. So that's that. And we wanna to go to minimum distance, maximum distance, velocity. Oh, excuse me. So we're just gonna go ahead and go with uh, We'll do 1.5 actually. So we just reverse it and it'll go up automatically. And transfer to uh, owner is me. Okay, we don't have to worry about that no more. Block group is that. And now we want to go ahead and put in. Oops. Spherical gravity generator. And let's see here, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna give this a name. We're gonna shorten it up in here. So radius, maximum, save. Okay, and then we're gonna turn this off right now. <laughs> and our gravity generator, the main gravity generator, we're gonna turn off during this. So we want <clears throat> to do that. So what we'll end up getting to do is turn this one off, turn this one on because we won't be on the deck of the ship anyway. So, all right. <clears throat> so now, this guy has an antenna, so let's try something out here. We go to G, groups, that's only our ship, so that doesn't really work. Okay, but we can do this. Large ship. Um, where's the other gravity? I didn't click save, did I? Oh, okay, so we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna come down here to this and we're gonna give it that block name that we uh, wanted to give it. I'm gonna change this because 
I want those two to be next to each other up here so um, and then we turn it on and we reverse the piston there it goes so we can do that remotely now we don't have to be inside the ship at any given time so now what will happen is is all the stuff is going to collect at that and as soon as I turn it off we're going to turn on the main portion of let's see where is that silver at let's just get to it okay there it is in all honesty we could probably harvest it from right here so but we're gonna go ahead and fly over here and climb back inside the ship So there's a lot of things we can do um, that we're not going to do right off the bat. Like um, we could put uh, remote modules on. Where are we headed towards? There he is. We put remote modules on all our ships. So like this guy wasn't in position while we were in the Reaper. So we could have from inside the Reaper gotten inside, gotten inside the Reaper and then requested a radio communication to... Uh, relocate the no-name ship to move. So we're gonna come up a bit, make sure we're not gonna either burn or uh, smash into the Reaper. Whoa, come on, come on, come on, come on. So the, another advantage to doing it this way is we don't have to get nowhere near as close. I mean, I would like to get as close as possible but uh, we don't have to get nowhere near as close now. So it's gonna help tremendously. All right, so that's gonna work for me. I think what we can do is in this instance, we can use a shadow to our uh, advantage. So, all right, let's head downstairs. Ah, where'd you go, Reaper? Look for the blue tag, blue tag, Reaper this way. All right, climbing in. Man, that'd be aw is that your aim over here? No, it's not. That'd have been awesome if it would have had, ooh, almost slammed into it. Okay. Let's turn our lights on. Let's go for the shiny stuff. So if you can get the camera to rotate and see it. All right, so camera's not gonna work with me here, so just not enough light to see where the stuff's going over there. So luckily, this stuff is soft. It doesn't take a lot to get mined. Uh, you get a lot with this ore, so, and we also don't need it very much either, so. It has a, a limited capacity right now for items in the game. But that's right now. I mean, we can come across a lot of modded stuff that later on that could be using it. I do plan on using more and more mods based upon what I find useful. I mean, I, I just I want to make sure that we uh, make this game fun. And I'm not saying that the vanilla game isn't, but uh, there's definitely some things that are going to make it interesting. So with the uh, restrictions removed or the ability to change the restrictions on uh, your top speed and stuff. I see people putting uh, FTL drives, um, stuff like that in their uh, in their ships. Uh, there's already one mod I know of that has FTLs and I'm gonna pass on that because I read his mod and it just sounded like, holy crap, this it's how they make it sound in Hollywood. Uh, I mean, you have to know exactly where you're going, nothing in your path, and it's it's pretty it, it's it's pretty cool. I, I, I give the guy props for how he did it. You need it basically checks the size of your ship, and uh, so if you look in your bottom right hand corner, we weigh twenty thousand four hundred and thirty eight kilograms. So for this ship to use an FTL. Wouldn't be too bad. 
But uh, our large ship, on the other hand, to use an FTL, that thing weighs over 2 million, I believe. Or actually, I don't even remember. I think it's like 22 million. So it takes a ton of energy to spool up the FTL drive to get it to move. So more power, you get up to, uh, you get your FTLs up faster, but uh, it takes more power. So yeah, it's, it was pretty interesting read on how it worked. Oh, snap. Look in the shadow. What well, is, oh, okay. I thought that was our piston broken apart, but it's not. Uh, so you see this little hive. Oh man, we need to go check on that piston. I'm afraid to get clobbered here. Uh, how's the piston? Oh, I just got pushed around. Okay, it's all right. It's 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 doing okay. So, so it's a spherical gravity generator. The reason I put it one block up was because I was afraid it was start gonna, going to start to get clobbered and I was going to uh, surround it in heavy armor. That's why I had uh, initially done that. So this isn't working exactly how I had planned, but it is working. So this is what I had expected, was them to just collect on it. But they have so much inertia coming towards them that they kind of just start making an orbit around it they're working their way in so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to climb back in the reaper check out how much inventory we have Eighty-five thousand. see that stuff harvests so quickly and we don't use very much of it either so all right so we're going to come back here and dock oh well the scorpion broke free that's not cool Oh crap, and his inertial dampeners are off. Man, that's twice you've done this, dude. Okay, so one of our viewers had uh, turned around and said that uh, there's a mag lock that... The large ship's moving too, what's going on? Did I turn the inertial dampeners off on it? Oh crap, what happened? No. Oh, that was the maelstrom. Oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? No. Ah. No, the maelstrom. We lost the maelstrom. Okay, so spherical driver generator might be a bad idea after all. Holy crap. Ours, our inertial dampeners are on? Dampeners are on. It's a gravity generator. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we lost the maelstrom, it looks like. <sighs> I don't see its beacon. So those parts and pieces were the maelstrom. That wasn't uh, just rock debris like we thought. That was the maelstrom. Oh, damn. That really sucks. I really liked that shit. Yeah, look at this. This is all damaged. The deck is completely warped. This is heavy pulley too. This is this is some st hard stuff to break. Uh, so he went towards the sun. So I'm gonna head out here a little bit. Um, oh yeah, right there, right there's a piece of debris. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the piece that we saw in the shadow. There's nothing left. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, well, that's our first industrial accident. That 
really sucks. Okay, so uh, circle gravity gender idea. Um, I'm gonna nix that for now. Uh, we might come back to it later, but um, the cost of that was already pretty high. Ah, oh, man. I, so my guess is, is it probably slammed into the reactors on the back and destroyed everything that way. Ah, man, that really sucks. Damn it. Well, all right. Good thing I didn't uh, go and test this off camera because I was planning on it. I was like, man, let's try this off camera. And I was like, no, let's go ahead and record it, you know. Lee, Lee was like, you should be using spherical gravity generators. I was like, yeah, I want to, but not sure how. Guess what? I still want to, and I'm not sure how. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. All right, so um, let's turn our docking collar on. All right, so, wow, that's really depressing. <laughs> Luckily, it's not either of these two ships I got destroyed right there because, I mean, these two ships we, we rely on pretty heavily. Building stuff and the amount of supplies that's in the Scorpion, oh, man, I would have been devastated. Um, and the Reaper, we, we need to expedite our gathering of resources, so that would have sucked as well. Ah, oh, man. Well, that was an unpleasant turn of events. So we go ahead and we go. Oh, it's not going to fix it. That's right. So turn our inertial dampeners off. We're going to park. And now we're going to fix our, uh, our thrusters. Actually, we need to disembark. Eight. All right, so let's go ahead and fix our thrusters, and I think we're going to wrap it up here today. Uh, yeah. So, um, okay, so let's fix our thrusters, and then I, I have something to, uh, to bring up for what we're going to be doing here. So small thruster group is not this ship. It's this ship. Okay, so Scorpion small thrusters save. Okay, so we will need to go back to G groups Scorpion small ship thruster toggle block on off. All right, so that works again. So let's go ahead and land and. Uh, Got something here we're gonna do here. All right, so let's get stable. Inertial dampeners off. Park. Thrusters off. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. <sighs> All right, so we can get back in there. Hold on. So T. Actually, we're gonna do that from up top. Um. So, in one of my earlier episodes, I was talking about I had a destination in mind. Um, oh, wait, we need to take care of the spherical gravity generator as well. So let's go do take care of the spherical gravity generator from there. I'm just super bummed out, guys. I <laughs> I am so sorry about doing that. <sighs> well, the Maelstrom, it was a mighty ship. So, all right, so here's the deal. We can turn around. I thought the ship was moving. I was probably getting smacked by a rock. Okay, so we're gonna access this port. Gravity generator on. Spherical gravity generator off. We turn that off and they just fall straight in. So that was the idea. That was the idea. So it's not gonna happen. 
so oh here's a cool thing uh, my inventory is probably gonna overfill it didn't okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here come on can I not grind on this thing there it goes all right so we have a destination in mind and I know exactly where we're gonna go and that's not the block we're looking for so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a destination because we can set waypoints now to anywhere we want to go okay so we can go literally anywhere in this galaxy um, it's a matter of getting there I know where we want to go I don't know if we can actually get there or not I have no idea how far away it is well, actually I do know how far away it is so that's fixed um, we'll fix him later so basically what we want to do is um, we're gonna set a waypoint right now and that's gonna be your destination I, I still think we're gonna to go to the albatross on our way out uh, if it hopefully it's the right direction because otherwise you have to double back but um, I'm gonna set a random waypoint well not so random but you'll see where I'm getting with this and we're going to go travel there and that's where we're going to set up shop so so we need to bring up our coordinates thing we're gonna go I think it's this it's been a while since I've done this add um, I'm gonna do it wrong and then it's gonna tell me how to do it and then as soon as I do it wrong you guys are gonna be like oh that might be a pretty cool idea it might not be so add waypoint I call it home we're gonna have it be friendly if, our, uh, if I could spell and it's going to be at you ready for this we're gonna go to zero so you look at the top of the screen we're currently at 27,134, negative 7,376 by 5,796. We're gonna try this. Does it work? Did I do it right? Did I do it right? Command waypoints, name, text on HUD, neutral, ally, or enemy. Okay, so I told you I was gonna do it wrong and then it would just correct me. So we want home home. <laughs> Home, home, then we want allied. Right? So waypoint add name text on HUD. Did I spell allied wrong? Waypoint, add name, text on hub. Do I have to put quotes on it? I don't think I have to do that, do I? I didn't think so. We'll give it a shot here. So yeah, we want to go to zero. Um, oh, come on now. Add waypoint, name, text on show on HUD. Neutral, allied. Okay, let's go with neutral. <laughs> uh, I probably spelled that wrong too. Yeah, I did. And E U T R A L zero zero zero. Actually, I probably don't need the commas. That might be it. Boom, there it is. All right, there it is. 28,000 away. Where is the albatross? That's kind of a roundabout the way. But um, let's see, where is price from here? You know what? We could head straight there. Let's head straight there. And um, yeah, we can totally get this working. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this guy real quick so turn his inertial dampeners on undock like so 
a uh, small thruster group for you is these. All right, inertial dampeners are on. Park, dampeners off. And hopefully we don't turn somebody else's thrusters on. Hey, all right, there we go. All right, so that's it for this episode. Um, uh, we need to put a memorial <laughs> on the ship for the maelstrom. <laughs> so after we get to uh, our uh, base of operations, uh, we're, we'll set up a memorial or something for the maelstrom. Uh, man, that really sucks. So, all right, we got some repair work to do here. We lost a refinery. Uh, who knows how much ore was inside that. Um, which means we need to get this buttoned up as well because it could have been a rock that slammed in the refinery which caused a large piece. That's where this came from. I'm Oh, yeah, that's got to be where that happened. Okay, so yeah, we got some work to do to repair this. We're going to get this patch back up, but I think we might be able to do that while in route to our home base. So um, that would be kind of sketchy, right? Working on the ship while it's moving. All right, so that's it. We're going to take off. Uh, Hope you guys are having a good day, For and uh, this is Havoc. Later.